Great, great. So let's see. Um, are you looking at the attendees tab? Yeah. Let's, okay, one person has joined, two persons, four persons, awesome, awesome, five. Yeah. And welcome, guys, welcome, guys. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Wow. Welcome everybody, welcome everybody. Okay, um, let's see, let's see if we can get to uh, 30 people who start, all right. Mm -hmm. Hello, good morning. How are you guys doing? You can use the um the chat um option and yeah. <laughs> Where the African time? <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't send you. I got my email. Okay. Okay. Shall we start now? Let's start now. Okay. 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 Um. First of all, let me introduce myself. Um, my name is Stephen Voski. Um, I'm the Binance Ambassador for a suit. Okay. Um, today, we're going to be talking about uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. And I also show you what it entails, you know, how you can trade it, and, you know, every other thing you need to know about. Bitcoin, all your questions will be answered here today. Okay. So if you can if you can hear me, please just indicate in the chat so that I know you are following through. Okay, okay, loud and clear. Yeah, yeah, I'm recording. I can re I'm recording, yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to start with, uh, I'll start with, um, you know, first of all, I'll start with the basics. I'll, I'll teach you guys um, what is, first of all, I'll start with what is money, um, what is um, Bitcoin, fiat money, cryptocurrencies as a whole and the rest before you go into trading proper you know before you before you go into anything you have to understand what what you 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 are really uh, trading on before you now say you want to make this as a business you have to really understand what that thing is so without wasting much of our time i hope you can see my screen I see my screen. Okay, okay, sorry. Let me share my screen. All right. How about now? I don't know, my mouse is missing.
Okay, you can see my screen now, right? Yeah, we can see. All right, all right. So, uh, let's get started. The world of blockchain. Um, these are the things we'll be looking at today. Okay. These are the things we'll be looking at today. Okay. Um, let me go straight to the point. Okay. Now, what is um? Out of What is what is money? You know, money is a tool. Is a tool to exchange value. You know, it's an object. It can be used, or you can say money is anything that can be used to. Who are those raising hand now? Um. Sorry, Gideon, please, can you uh, attend to those people? Okay. They're kind of uh, distracting me. So, what is what is money? What is money? Okay, money money is just a simple tool used to exchange um, value. You know, it's, it's just anything you and I can accept. Trade it. Let's say, let's say I have I have a something I I want to exchange, and then whatever whatever I we agree on, you know. Whatever it is that you you bring, and I decide that yeah, this thing is of is of good use to me. I can be able to accept it as money. It doesn't necessarily have to be the the paper we see. You know, just like in the old days, people use rocks and shells as a means of payment. And then the main thing is that is that belief. You know, you believe that this thing is is something um I, we can. As I can accept, as 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 to to exchange uh, whatever it is that I want to give to you, you understand. So, but now, but then those those um those objects you know that were used as money before, some of them have, but all of them have their own different value. We have a. Uh, Instead of stones, now it came to a time whereby people now started accepting a gold as a means of exchange, and then from gold you now move to um, the paper money we see today. So I will I will take you step by step on these things. I will explain them one after the other. Now, the gold was accepted as money then because it has it's very scarce. You know, when something is scarce, it it creates this kind of uh, value. People, you know, when people are looking for something that is is not there, or is 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 very very um scarce to get, you know, it it to it tend to skyrocket the price and. And then that gives that gives the shared belief there. So that's just the simple explanation of um, money. Before then, after that gold standard, then we we now came into paper money, which is fiat money, and that's what we'll be talking about on the next slide. Next slide, yeah. Okay. Um, paper money. So what's paper money? Paper money is is is, is like fiat currency, the traditional money we know today. You know, the the one we exchange today, and it's being issued by government. It's a it's a legal tender that replaced the gold and other commodities. Then, you know, at first it was backed by that gold, but at, at it came to a point in time whereby 
the 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 gold standard was no longer used. It is now become a thing of the government, and the government now force people to use that um, use this paper money as a legal tender. You, you know, you just uh, the paper the paper money on its own doesn't have its own uh, value on its own. It's what you use to exchange that gives it value. And so it's that um, that uh, this thing that um, that belief now that if I give you this thing now, you are going to give me so, so product is what's keeping this um, money valuable. Is this person calling me now? Okay, uh, and then. Money is the paper money is actually more portable than the gold money, and it's easy to use because it's less. It's not that heavy, unlike gold. The reason why gold was dropped was because it's not easy to use. It cannot be used for day-to-day -day activities. It's heavy. It has weight, so you cannot be carrying gold about to buy your goods and services. And so, on. so it was dropped, and paper money was opted for. Uh, it's it's not scarce and it's inflatable. This means is that the paper money is is not scarce because government can just wake up and print money as they want. You know, like during this uh, COVID nineteen pandemic, I think US printed about two trillion dollars or so. You see, that increases the money in circulation, and when there is excess money in circulation. You, you see that the, the 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 paper money value will now reduce because like almost everyone now has it, you understand? And then it doesn't have any intrinsic value attached to it. I think I've explained this before. It's, it's, it's just that belief. We just believe that uh, this thing is, is money and he can use it to buy something. That's just what's backing it, not any um, product or anything behind it. Okay, now, now this is, this is where, this is, this is what brought all those uh, problems I just said about uh, money, you understand? That's what gave back to this uh, cryptocurrency. And that's what brought about cryptocurrency. And uh, cryptocurrency is more like the solution to this uh, uh, inflatable money that we have before or we have now. And so the cryptocurrency is still new. So now what is um, cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is just a, a digital form of money. You know, when you say something is digital, that means that thing is online. You know, it's it's it deals with um, computers. Uh, it's protected by cryptography. This means is that um, you know that the, the cryptography means a kind of encode encoded let's encryption. It means that um, you know it's no it's no um, it's, it's safe and secure by computer algorithms and mathematics. You know, and cryptocurrency can't be duplicated or destroyed. Unlike paper money, paper money, your money can catch fire, but your cryptocurrency cannot. It's a, uh, it's 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 immutable. You can't destroy it. Okay, and and it's distributed. It's peer to peer, like it's money for me and you. It's a it's a currency whereby I can I can transact directly to you. I don't. There's no central. Uh, party. There's no third person in between us. There's no bank, no anything. It's just me and you. We just, you know, agree that this this money is this what we use to to make our exchange or make our trade, and it's borderless. This means that um, you can you can transact anywhere. You can buy and sell cryptocurrencies. You can send cryptocurrencies to anyone, even outside Nigeria. Outside anywhere, without is accepted worldwide. And so it doesn't have restriction, just like a uh, Nigerian naira, whereby you, you can only spend your naira here. If you want to go outside, let's say Ghana or 
or um, any other place, you 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 have to exchange it to that um, that country's currency before you can use it. If not, your your money becomes useless in that country. Understand? So um, the next one, the next one now is Bitcoin. Now Bitcoin is the first digital currency. It is it is. It is the it has the same quality as cryptocurrency. It's the first cryptocurrency. So it, it, the, the, this is it. Bitcoin is, is a cryptocurrency too. And it's a cryptocurrency is like the general name for all virtual currencies. Understand? But Bitcoin now is is a, is a standalone cryptocurrency and is the first cryptocurrency that came out before any other thing we are seeing today. Understand? So it has these same uh, features that these same features that uh, cryptocurrency has, of course, because it's a cryptocurrency. And then it is the first, and it is transparent, you know, because it's built on blockchain. I will explain more on this on subsequent slides. Uh, it is scarce. You know, it is scarce because it has limited supply. It is the 20, uh, only 21 million supply of Bitcoin we have existing today. And there won't be more Bitcoins after that if the rest of the remaining Bitcoin is mined. So the, the, this makes it, you know, has the kind of value it has today. I'm sure many of us have seen how the, <clears throat> the Bitcoin has grown over time. You know, from from the last from since inception in 2019, now it has grown exponentially from zero dollars to uh, eight thousand dollars today as of today's price. So, um, it is open source. What this means is that you know anyone can go to the Bitcoin code and 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 also make any improvement or amendment. You know the 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 Bitcoin uh, protocol, the Bitcoin uh, this thing is is it can be found on GitHub, so you can replicate something like this. You know, yeah, it, like is 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 decentralized. You know, I'll still I'll still come to that. I'll explain more on this on the next slide. Next slide. So I don't want to you know talk more than go too deep and <laughs> going to um. Uh, times that will confuse you and then also waste your time at the same time. So let me just be very, very, very brief. We see you talk more down down. So it is um, censorship resistant. This means that the government doesn't have control over Bitcoin. You know, you you you, you cannot ban it. You cannot say ah, stop using Bitcoin because it doesn't. You don't. No one has control over it. It, it, it's, it's an independent uh, uh, protocol. It's an independent something. No, no one is, is, it has been, it's just a mathematical code. You know, if you're a computer science, if, if you know about um, uh, coding and this, you really understand this faster than any other person. And that, what, what this means is that it's just, it's just, you know, when you write a program and you upload it on the net, it's, it's just there working on, those things you have written on the code. So no one can actually change it. No one can, you know, decide that you should shut down this when it comes to Bitcoin. So that's what I mean by censorship resistance. Um, now, onto the next slide. Who created this, uh, this Bitcoin? Who created this Bitcoin? The guy's name is Satoshi Nakamoto. You know, he's a pseudonymous computer science student. And he's also the creator of the blockchain technology, which is hosting or holding the Bitcoin. You know, it's a brilliant solution to double spend problem. Double spend problem means you, you, you spending twice on a single trade. Like you paying twice for, for, for one thing. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It, it the the um the fiat 
money, excuse me, the fiat money we use now has this uh, um, problem of, uh, you know, that we spend whereby you, when, when you want to make a transaction or you want to send some money, or use, there are fees and the fees are much. And when some of these fees are up to 14% of the amount you are paying. So it, it's almost like you are spending double of what you are sending. But Bitcoin now is the solution to all these things. You have very, very less fees to, to, to transact on, uh, on, this, um, on this Bitcoin. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. See, uh, please, can, I don't know. Can someone just go to the group and you know just send the message? Let if they know. I don't know. I, I, people should check your email. There are those that are not here. So and they are they are pulling my WhatsApp inbox right now. I can't be doing this and be checking WhatsApp at the same time. So please, if anybody can just type on the group, just check your email and join this this thing. Since we have not gone that far like that. So um, Bitcoin was launched in 2009, and the guy disappeared after that because the if if you know when you create something a disruptive technology like this, definitely there are bad players out there. There are people who don't want who are benefiting from uh, the 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 fiat currency, and so they won't want you to spoil their business. That's why the guy disappeared. So let's just see. let's go to the next slide. Now, the next slide we're talking about the blockchain, a distributed database that hosts the Bitcoin protocol. Okay. A blockchain is, is just is just like a database, you know. If you know you know about database, where you store data. Where you store information, so a block. That's what the blockchain is. It's, it's where everything about Bitcoin is stored. All the transactions, the um, events, everything happening on the Bitcoin network is stored in the blockchain, and it's immutable and it's permanent. Okay. Um, now, yeah. and and then the the blockchain is a chain of link block because it consists of blocks. You know, events that happen every every transaction, everything is stored on the blockchain, and they are called blocks. And then, and Let's take, for example, if you know what a ledger is, but those into business and economics, a ledger is, is like a book where you store transactions. So that's almost that's exactly what a blockchain is. But this time around, it's, it's, it's a software, it's a computer protocol. And, that, and it's, it, it can't be, any information stored on blockchain can't be removed. It can't be destroyed. And so the blockchain record, and transact any kind of digital data, not only money, not only, uh, uh, you know, buying and selling of Bitcoin is what the uh, blockchain records. It's rec you can store contract, you can store, uh, um, you can store, uh, let's say, text, post, anything at all, you can store it on the blockchain network. And it's tamper proof. All this tamper proof means is that you you can't um you can't tamper with it once it's stored it's there for life and it's transparent too you know i, I will come to that on subsequent slides okay so what what is a what is blockchain uh, the participants don't need to trust each other yeah, that's one advantage of this um, blockchain. I don't need to trust you to transact with you because the blockchain is a trustless protocol. I can, I can, we can just have an agreement. Let's say, for example, I, me and me and you, want to, you know, 
we have an a, an agreement on on maybe uh, let's let me just use this example let's say a landlord and a tenant have an agreement for 10 years that you will be, be paying so, so, so amount, let's say 100,000 a year for rent and then this agreement has been signed and stored on the blockchain network and maybe the the the, the landlord now cannot come back after five years meanwhile the contract is 10 years and decide that he wants to make changes and he cannot because he, 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 the, the, if, if the information is stored on the blockchain, he, nobody, both, both of us will see that argument there and it will be there. And both of us cannot even tamper with that until the time for that agreement exceeds. That's not, it will be there for, for all of us. You cannot, if, if any person is, is trying to, you know, play, play bad, you're trying to uh, kind of cheat the other person. The person will be kicked out of the system. Okay. They, they see see what they say there. They say everyone keeps track of balances and transactions. And what happens if someone tries to cheat the system? It gets kicked out. If you look at this diagram here, look at this diagram here. This is a blockchain. This this big one here is a blockchain record, or let's say an agreement between six parties. Okay. Now these one, two, three, four, five people, they are good. They agree on, on that um on, on on this agreement. Now, this particular person now is trying to cheat the system, try to make amends, you know, maybe trying to hack it. And and what happens when this person tries, he get kicked out of the network. As you can see, it's shown red and X. You get kicked out of this uh network. So that's that's you know that's how um, um, blockchain is. But you know the the, the normal uh, database we know, central database, whereby only one person have control. You know, any person it can be hacked, but blockchain cannot be hacked. Any person can come and make changes on uh, central databases, but blockchain you can't unless everyone reaches an agreement, which is called consensus. I will talk about that in next okay not this slide maybe subsequent slide yeah it's where we talk about um consensus you, you, the consensus means we reach to an agreement and decide to make amends on the blockchain that's when you can change anything stored on the blockchain Understand? so this is the differences between bitcoin and blockchain okay this is just the differences between Bitcoin and blockchain so that you don't confuse yourself. Some people think, uh, some people don't even know the difference between Bitcoin, blockchain, and cryptocurrencies. Okay. They are, they are, they are I, I believe by this uh, simple explanation I've been making from the beginning, you, you should be getting a grasp of what this entails. Okay. So this is Bitcoin, it's a digital currency. It's a financial asset. It's tradable. And these are the features of Bitcoin. It's the first and the most popular cryptocurrency today. It's a computer software, an open source code, and it's public and decentralized. Okay. I used to tell people that if you want to learn about Bitcoin, if you want to really understand Bitcoin, you first of all understand it as a computer software. When you now understand this thing, this product as a, as a computer software, you won't have any problem understanding it as a digital currency or a financial asset. You get to know the reason why this thing is called money. This Bitcoin itself, it's a money. It's a computer software. <laughs> it's a financial asset. It is, in fact, it is it's an asset whereby you can hold it for years and it will appreciate. Okay. And it's a software at the same time. At the same time, it's a it's a it's something you can buy and sell to make money from it. It's it's a it's a tradable uh, uh, asset. So it does Bitcoin is many things in one. Now blockchain is a distributed database where records of transaction and information on Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency are stored. Okay, it records the information, any kind of digital data, and the blockchain itself is not just about money. You can it has several use cases. We will still talk about this down down. It has several use cases like 
uh, you can use it on different field area, be it healthcare, economics, uh, computer, finance, anywhere, any, in fact, any, any part, any aspect of, 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 um, of this world, you can, you can use blockchain, you can apply blockchain there if you want your, your dealings to be transparent, okay? There are various ways to build blockchains too, you know, like today, almost so many of these coins out there have their own separate blockchain, apart from the Bitcoin um, blockchain. Bitcoin have its own blockchain too, so, and it's a digital ledger, okay? I've said something about that, all right? And then, and then we have the Bitcoin versus fiat money. Bitcoin versus fiat money. Okay. Uh, fiat money is centralized. You know, it's controlled by government. Say this is wrong. It's not scarce. It's, it's, it's printed anyhow. Like, the government has just wake up and decide to print money, the CPN, and decide to print more money. And when there's more money in sub circulation, the, uh, the purchasing power decreases. As I, you might think if there is too much money in circulation, it means you are rich. You no. Know, you are actually getting poor more you know, because, <laughs> it, it, you know, when something is in excess supply, there is a saying that says too much as everything is bad. Okay. Now, um, sorry for slowing down. Let me just reply some people on WhatsApp. It, it has, um, it's not scarce. It has unlimited supply. It's still saying the same thing. Um, hello, can you hear me? I don't, I don't know what it's saying network glitch let me let me check something uh, okay i'm seeing your your question yeah yeah there will be time for there will be there will be time for for questions let me just go finish this slide too all right there will be time for questions Okay, I need to, I don't know, I need to get more moderators. And then, so, and chat bags, you know, when you, you transact on fiat, you, the money is reversible, but on Bitcoin, it's not. Okay, and it's inefficient. As I said, it, the fiat money is is so so, it's so so poor. It's so it's so bad that anything can happen to it at any time. Okay, now the the Bitcoin is decentralized. All decentralization means is that it 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 it, it doesn't have central point of control. Everyone has um, access to it. It's peer to peer. It's a money for me and you. And then it is 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 scarce. It has only a very very limited supply. Controlled and limited supply. Twenty one million. You see, the transactions on the blockchain are not are not reversible. Okay, when well, it anything because it uses the blockchain, like I said, anything stored on the blockchain is is tamper proof, so it's not reversible. Uh, it's fast and cheap. If, if I send you Bitcoin now, within five minutes, it has entered your wallet. But if you send money using fiat, if you go to the bank to send money, you see, you see that the the it, it takes days. To, to to get to the person you send it to. And, and and the fees are high. Well this in this blockchain now you can use less than one dollar to send any amount of money, be it billions. And, and uh, censorship resistance. 
it can't be controlled. That's what this censorship resistance means. No government can disrupt it. Okay. Let's go to the next slide. Next slide. Okay, this, this is an illustration of how uh, bank transfers work. Okay. Uh, yeah, Alice tries to send money to Bob, $200. And then uh, Alice has to go to the bank. Uh -huh. Alice has to go to the bank and she, she'll be charged a 7% fee. 7% of $200 is $14 to send. Now, at the end, what Bob will receive is $186. You see, the fee is is seven percent, and the process time takes up three working days. It's only nowadays that they started, you know, Bitcoin has gave them competition, so they have to improve. They started, you know, making things fast that you know transfers are a little bit more faster, but still the blockchain network is faster than it. Okay. Uh, the okay, did you know the worldwide remittance made about six hundred and eighty-nine billion in two eighteen? 7% will count for 48 billion, okay? That's, this, this remittance means those money you sent abroad, you know, like if you send money to people, you are being charged processing fees. And and these fees are, who are the people that take it? The banks, you know, they are really ripping it up. Now, on the next slide now, you see the difference. This is blockchain transfer. Alice is sending Bob $200. The charge is $1. As a matter of fact, the, the, the charge is even lesser than $1. This is just an estimate. So you see Alice will end up getting $199. And this $199, if Alice decide not to spend this money right now and decide to keep it for, let's say, a year or two years, it might even skyrocket to maybe $400 or, or more, okay? Because cryptocurrencies are, are, are volatile. They, are, they, they, they go up and they, they tend to grow in price over time. So... You see, and the transfer takes just 30 to 90 minutes. It, it, it's, it's even less than. Then fees are 0.5%, not 7%. On, on January 16, someone paid $0.49 in fees to move $1 billion in single transaction. Then this, you see this, this, um, this, this transaction now. Okay, let me see if I can copy the link and let me see if I can copy the link. I want to show you that transaction. Okay. I just have a small lock. Let me I mean, I, I think I'll send it to the group. Who is not on the group? If you are not on, on the boat, the two groups, okay, you can you can just uh, ask for the link. The panelists will send will send you the link so that you you join the group. I will send you a link to this transaction so that you can check for yourself. Okay, <laughs> BTC is finally $8,000. I'm very happy because <laughs> I, 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 I placed a trade. In fact, I've been holding a buy position since 6000 and I've, I've <laughs> made up to like close to a big money. Let me not just say it right now. Okay, so <laughs> I'm very excited. So. Okay, this slide say we have we should have break, 15 minute break. Is 15 minutes not too much? Eh? I don't know. We just started like 
few minutes ago. This is just 46 minutes. If it's not 40 minutes. Uh, should you, let's just have a five minute break now. Let's just say five minutes. At least by 11.50, we should be, should be back. If you have any other things to attend to, let me check. Let me attend to the group. Let me check uh, uh, WhatsApp messages and the rest. Okay. So that we'll proceed to the next section in in few in a few moments. Okay. Um, give you an idea. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay. How you doing? I'm good. What's good, bro? All right. Uh, there are so many unanswered questions here. Okay. okay. Let's go with them. Hmm. I reply in the chat. Okay. Okay. If you can see my screen, I don't know if you can see this time. I buy by eleven fifty or let's say eleven fifty two. Yeah. I will I will I'll go into the next session. I just want us to kind of assimilate what we have learned so far. Okay. Can I see the next slide? Slide 16. Okay. All right. Hmm. Where will you start teaching about how to trade? <laughs> that will be faster than a shadow. I don't, I don't teach trading that so fast, so easily like that too. Because uh, <laughs> uh, join the because the, 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 yeah, join just join the group. We we'll, we'll talk about trading after today's slide. After I mean after today's uh listen. And um, what is the unit of one BTC? Okay. The 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 unit of one BTC right now is is um The unit of one BTC is um, okay. Let me open my my banner. It's eight thousand dollars. Thousand one hundred and ten. Wow! 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 Eight thousand one hundred and ten. Four point seven five percent this morning alone. Eight thousand one hundred and ten. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> That's so long. <laughs> Ah, okay. This this is my Binance Futures testnet account. Okay, let me let me check this situation. I have um, I mean, let's go to markets. Markets. This this is Binance.com. You, you, you guys know that this um this this event is hosted by um by Binance, right? So everything here we'll be doing, everything we'll be talking about is Binance. Understand? Everything we'll be talking, everything we'll be doing, your trading career, everything will be on Binance, 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 Binance. So if you take note, and Binance has the sweetest interface okay these these are chats the bitcoin price today the best is the, the person asking me what is the unit of one bitcoin this is the price this is the current price right now eight thousand zero nine nine approximately eight thousand one hundred you see it's changing it has gone up already and uh, 
Hey, I'm still on my You can go to BitMEX. You can buy on Binance and sell on BitMEX currently. Okay, arbitrary. They, they have a, they, they, the, the price there is higher, right? Uh, the price on BitMEX is more higher than this one. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if this battery will take me. I need to. I need to change this battery. So I might. I might go offline. Okay, now before we start. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. This is a. Uh, this is my. This is my futures uh, testnet account. And uh, I placed this trade like some weeks ago. BTC one BTC as the entry price. I placed this trade when BTC was six thousand six hundred. The current price is eight thousand one hundred. Yeah, I had ten x margin, ten x leverage. Sorry. And uh, see, this is the current current return of investment is uh, one thousand. Four hundred and thirty-four dollars out of one thousand. I just put there. That's our one hundred one hundred seventy-seven percent since then. I will teach you all these things in the long run, but let's not go too far there. Okay, we are on break. That's why I just let me see. I just said let me just check on these things. Let me just play around. So in the, in the in five minutes, we we'll, we'll continue, please. Please, can you change your battery now? Yeah, I want to. I want to see if if I can be able to get back to the this interest. All right. All right, I'm coming.
Okay. Uh, okay, let's proceed. This is the second part of this slide. And it talks about Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin mining is how Bitcoin are being produced, right? How they are being created. And uh, cryptocurrency wallets, where you store your Bitcoins, uh, blockchain use cases, uh, the you know the use cases of Bitcoin, remittance, supply chain, healthcare. And and then we'll talk about the Binance ecosystem. And from there, we'll do our question and answer giveaways and we'll close. So please just have a little more patience for me, right? I won't waste your time. I won't waste your time. Today is Wednesday. It's weekday. I know a lot of you have things to do, except that you can't go out. <laughs> Uh, okay, <laughs> let's talk about Bitcoin mining. <laughs> it's a process of adding transactions to the blockchain. And those people who add those transactions to the blockchain are called miners. You know, they verify and validate new blocks. You know, they like a, a miner, what they do is they when when you when you transact on the blockchain okay, there are fees you pay those fees goes to the miners you no know, what miners do is that they they tend to solve some mathematical puzzles on the blockchain network to to be able to process that your transaction and when they they are able to solve those puzzles and validate that transaction you are about to make and they are they what they get is return is that fees that little fees you are paying to to um to 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 you know to to make that transaction and uh, secondly new bitcoins being created you know bitcoin has 21 million supply but there is what we call total supply and um, circulating supply. So total supply is 21 million Bitcoins. Circulating supply at the moment is 18 million Bitcoins. So now how, how are these Bitcoins adding up? Like the circulating supply, the one moving on right, the one moving around right now, how they are adding up is through mining. You understand? And and those miners, the the they are ap apart from the fees you pay, the, those new bitcoins being mined, mined are uh, is what is being settled. Like is the reward given to those miners for solving those uh, computational puzzles, those tasks. It's a very tedious tax. It's what they do to 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 earn BTC. So right now the block reward is. 12.5 BTC. In the next in less than 20 days now, it will be cut down to 6.25 BTC. Understand? So, uh, see, this is how the mining works in a few steps. The miner collects pending transactions. Those transactions you are about to send, the miner collects it and creates a new block, a candidate block. Okay, and then they try to find solution for that block. They 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 try to solve. There are some kind of you know, computer puzzles, they are a, a kind of like a, a, a mathematical problems they do solve before new Bitcoin is even mined, in mind out. So this will show you that mining Bitcoin is not that easy like that. It's not like the fiat money whereby the government can just go to their CBN on their machine and print dollars anyhow. She gets. And, and then <laughs> the, the, the first miner, to find a solution, validate that candidate block. The man, there are so many miners out there. You understand? So, what they, the first person to get that, you even as you're solving that hard question, you still have to be try to beat time and be the first to gain that reward. You understand? So, you, 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 the first miner to, to, to find a solution to validate that candidate block, get that reward, and that, earn that fees for that transaction on the blockchain. Okay. So the, the demand against the block reward and the newly generated coins plus the fees. Let me let me show you something. 
let me show you something blockchain.com slash explorer okay blockchain.com this is the, the the portal where you can see your this is where block of transaction are stored okay these are block of chain link of transactions these are transactions with their hash okay so each of these each of these transactions are being verified by miners at this side you can see miners this is pooling miner btc does come and pool ft pool via btc and even Binance recently started mining, but I can't see they are listing here. It's, it should be, if I should go down, if I search for it now, it should be their first listing is here. So the average block time is, is 10 minutes, each 10 minutes interval. That's what is, is used to mine this block. Now, these are latest blocks. Every transaction happening here are stored. This is the blockchain. You understand? So every transaction, anything happening here, they are being stored here. History. This is the the, the block is 628137. It started from zero. And then if you, if you go if you go down, if you see, view more blocks, you see from from the Genesis block, which started in 2009. Okay, you see all everything here, right here that I'm showing you now. And then, so the, the, that's why you see blockchain is transparent. You can see everything that is going on. Okay. These are the latest blocks. Now, these people, these miners are the ones now. The, the fee is being paid. Okay, let me open this. Let me open this particular transaction. Let me open this particular transaction. Okay. This is hash, information one. Okay. This is the miner, Pulin. Pulin is the, mine, the mining, uh, the miner that's mined this block now. Number of transactions, he mined a total of 1,596 transactions. Okay, it's a difficulty level. And then, um, transaction volume, about 5,615 BTC. Block reward, this is the reward, 12.5 BTC. This is the fee, 0 0.81 BTC. Now, if you, if you, this, this, for, for solving this computational problem now, for solving, for mining this this coin now eh, this guy earned a total of 12.68 btc you understand this is what this pulling end okay now if if you if you are to check the price of btc right now eh, if you check how much this guy made now from this mining okay 12. 0.6 BTC to dollars. You see how much this guy earned today? $102. dollars dollars $802,000. Now, <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm doing this conversion as a matter of fact. But I just want to see that money is not a, a, a child play because you know people think you see all those scam these things out there and think is let's say 40 okay 40 million naira that's what this guy earned here. Yeah. And do you know how much he put in to, to get this? So I just want you to understand that this money is no is not something you cannot do. If you, you see all those scam out there that say you come and mine with us, blah blah blah, those bullshit, they are they're just they don't work that way. This is the real process of mining. You understand? Now this is this this is showing an example of how uh how the difficulty level of mining. Say for example, each participant rolls a 12-sided dice. The first to get, uh, the first to get greater than six three times in a row, okay, validates the next block and gets rewarded. So, if 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 the number of miners, number of participants increases, the difficulty level increases, and also if the number of uh, miners decreases, the the difficulty level also decreases. So, is that's just, let me now 
go to deep shark don't go to deep you can make your own research on that uh, i'm not waste more of your time in there now cryptocurrency wallets cryptocurrency wallet the currency wallets are tools used to interact with the blockchain network they are like you know software where you can store your cryptocurrencies as well but they are you know they're divided into three main categories you have the software the hardware and the paper wallet Are you following? What type of word does man like that? I, I explain this now, right? I explained. Okay. The 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 software wallets we have under the software we have the web wallets which you can use on your web browsers and then we have desktop wallets for computers and then we have mobile wallets the ones you know you know for example like the trust wallet and then the the under under the under this we still have another category here hardware wallets those are wallets that that uh, that this that is connected to the internet, you know, that uh, this will be uh, that online, and then we have code wallets, which which is this, which uh, these two now they are code wallets because they are offline, you know what But in terms of hardware wallets, you can they have USB ports whereby you can connect it to your computer if you want to send and receive PTC, and then power wallets are wallets that, you know. You can just uh, the, the the wallet address and the private keys are printed on a, something like paper. So if you want to send out your BTC, you use you just scan the QR code and send or receive. And so, and the next thing, yeah, blockchain use cases. Okay, blockchain use cases. I have um, remittance, supply chain, healthcare, other, other use cases to have a charity, dApps, gaming, governance, identity management, Internet of Things, IoT. Yeah. Remittance means in sending in and out of money. That's what remittance means. Then And then if you use blockchain for remittance, there'll be more transparency because people will, people will now, you know, be able to see that you really, really sent the amount I gave you to send, okay? And I can verify it on the blockchain. So that's why blockchain is good for remittance. And then supply chain is, is like, let's say this, this, this means like, uh, uh, let's say, let me give an example. Uh, a building project, building project, you know, there is a contractor, there is the engineers, there is the laborers, workers. So if they use blockchain to store their, their transaction, to store their data, you know, to store their everyday to daily activities, it will be very, very transparent. The engineer will not cheat the contractor. Laborers will not cheat the engineer in the sense that the, everything that's happening, like if the, the owner of the project, even when he releases money, since it's on the blockchain, and the blockchain is something that everyone can see, everyone can verify. You understand? So if Oga sent some so amount of money for this project for six bags of cement, and everyone is seeing it, you know, the, the, you cannot come and cut share. You cannot come and like the way. Nigeria is corrupt now. The way corruption goes on, you cannot come and like, you know, decide to cut your own mm -hmm. cut there, you know, cut your own share. Maybe they gave 6K, you decided to remove 1K and use 5K for the report. And they produce lesser quality of blocks, you know, that kind of thing. So, 
that is that is just how uh, blockchain can be used for supply chain for you know things like that. And then the third one, healthcare. You know, healthcare management systems. They also use um, they use their, their centralized database uh, and books and ledger and the rest to store health information of patients and the rest. But if these things are stored on blockchain network, you 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 cannot you know you cannot tamper it. You cannot go and change another person's hair status there because probably you are being offered money to to do that. And it, it just one thing is one thing is you 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 are kind of you know you, you kind of uh, have good uh, advantage when using blockchain for anything at all, anything in life generally, be it charity, you know, it, like charity where people donate money for, you know, charitable uh, uh, stuff. People still cut their own share there. And then uh, dApps means decentralized applications. There are so many applications today, dApps that you can, you know, like games, uh, share media apps and the rest. You know, when, when you come really fully into this blockchain, so you get to know about all these things. And then gaming, yeah, governance too. You know, same thing. It 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 can help in during elections. Can it help also to to for a leadership to be transparent. If everything are being stored on the blockchain, you know, because everyone is 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 connected to each other. Everyone can see whatever that is going on 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 the on the, the surface because they're using blockchain kind of. A, a database and then identity management too you know internet of things you know same thing same thing okay i, I already explained this <laughs> it's fine in fact remittance worldwide transfer and yeah, you know this is the, the the largest flow of funds into developing countries and it's fast growing so people are people are really making money from this industry but if you, if you use blockchain remittance now for this, you have less middlemen, less intermediaries because it's me and you, peer to peer. So I don't need to pay fee to anybody to to send my money to you. And, uh, and then lower fees, faster transactions. You know, these things are self-explanatory. And then supply chain, just like I I I stated. I explained, see, look, this is a diagram illustrating it, okay? You see, this one tries to play bad. This tries to play bad, and he got kicked out, okay? A, a network of people, business, or creating, distributing products or services, okay? It, 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 the, the current method now has is lack of efficient, and it's not transparent. But if you use blockchain now, the database was to store those informations and, and, and daily activities will be tamper-proof. And it's customizable, secure, and transparent. Less intermediaries, faster, less frauds. Like I said before, nobody will try to cut the money short. Okay. Reduce labor and reduce cost. And then next one is a uh, healthcare. Okay. Next one is healthcare. Okay, I've, I've already mentioned this. Yeah, you come and join the online meeting, please. Come and come and join the meeting. I'm at home. So, blockchain is healthcare storage of medical patients record. Database can be easily erased or modified. Centralized database are prone to hackers. But you can't hack a blockchain because it doesn't have central place of authority. Everyone has, like, it's a distributed database. When they say something is distributed, it means it, it is. It like every if each participant has access to it, has its own copy of the the this thing. So you, you cannot really, if you want to hack, you have to hack everybody now. You know, you, you can't really just target one place. If you hack one person, there are still others people 
around with same same uh, uh, database so it's still there it's just like wasting your time and effort trying to hack a blockchain okay and then a lack of transparency medical insurance and fraud but on on the blockchain healthcare you have customized uh, accessibility and transparency usually built as distributed private networks permission based management hospital patients etc fraud protection increase security data integrity interop interoperability easy for different networks to verify and exchange network data so 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 and so that's just it and then now the binance ecosystem okay this part now you see binance now it's like it's like an empire yeah that is out to spread the freedom of money and expand this blockchain industry. That is why they brought this webinar for you. Okay? There are so many branches, like there are so many parts of Binance ecosystem. Okay? And these are them. The exchange, the academy, the Binance charity, the Binance Info, Binance Lab, Binance Lot Pad. Binance Richard Trust Wallet is also owned by Binance. Some of you know this Trust Wallet. This is the wallet you guys are using to do your million money Ponzi store. It's also owned by Binance. And then the Binance chain, it's it's where you you can create your it's a blockchain on its own, owned by Binance, where you can create a new token or new coin. Yeah. Binance X for developers. Whereby you can yeah, if you're a developer or a programmer, you can join and then you be sponsored by Binance and you learn, you go together with Binance, you know, you improve your your blockchain programming skills and the rest. So I, I will talk more on this on, on the, there's a slide especially for this, okay? The Binance Academy, the leading blockchain and cryptocurrency education portal. The, the, the link is binance.vision. Please take note, binance.vision, that is the link. You can just check it out. That's where you learn everything I just said today is there. Okay, you can learn it on your free time. It's entirely free. And if you, if you know how to write, you can contribute here and, and submit, you get paid for it. Okay, so, so far, so good. These are the things we talked today, All right? These are the things. I believe this, this is a very, very nice introductory yeah, Binance Edition is a very nice introductory um, lesson. So these are examples of hardware wallets, Ledger, Trezor, Ledger Nano S, Trezor One. Obviously, you can Google about them. They are available at the market. And uh, um, answer. Before we come to this question and answer. Uh, let me talk about let me talk about the Binance ecosystem first. Uh, let me talk about the Binance ecosystem first. Then we we'll come to your questions. Come to your questions. I don't know Binance Exchange World. Exchange you exchange the world. The number one exchange. Binance, my love. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh. I don't know if the first before I changed my battery. I don't know if the first recording I did was saved. If it's not saved. That would be, I would, that would be very very bad for me. Oh. Okay, let's move on. This Binance Exchange, you know, Binance is the exchange where is a leading global cryptocurrency exchange by trading volume, which uses over 180 countries and region, capable of processing more than 1.4 million orders per second. It's one of the fastest cryptocurrency trading platforms. Platform focused on security, robustness, execution, speed, attracting enthusiasts and professional traders like you and me. You guys, this is the link, Binance.com. You can check it out, surf around, you know, check, sign up, and check the interface. It's very smooth and slick. Download the app to it's 
you enjoy it, trust me. Okay, this is our vision to spread freedom. Vision is to increase the freedom of money globally. We believe that spreading this freedom can significantly improve our lives around the world. I can attest to that. It has improved my life significantly because I no longer have to, you know, keep my money in Naira that is becoming useless day by day. And I keep my money in USDT on Binance and, and exchange it to Naira and withdraw instantly to my bank account anytime I want. Okay, I exchanged my Naira since when it was around 380 or so. So, uh, and now, Naira is currently up to $470 per dollar. See, I've made so much gain by just keeping my money on Binance account. You understand? Yeah, I, I, if, I, if I change it to Naira now, maybe my, 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 my if, I, if I decide to keep my, my 1K I kept as a den, should be worth close to 1,700 by now, if not more. So uh, these are just randomly calculated on my head. So I don't, I don't know the estimate. You can calculate it yourself. Okay. So this is the one of the advantages advantages of Binance. Okay. And then our mission is to build, build and provide infrastructure service for organizing the world cryptos. Binance has so many, so many, so many things on it. Okay. Only by coming to this site alone. Binance.com, you see so many, so many available options for you. We have spot trading, we have the basic classic advanced OTC. OTC means direct peer to peer trading. And then there's features, okay, there's finance, whereby you can save your money, you can stake. Okay, there's the pool whereby you can also invest in mining pool. You can buy with your debit card, you can also get loans of crypto loans, you can just keep small of your asset as collateral and get crypto loans and, and spend and then when you pay back your loans you get back your your, your crypto asset if you don't want to spend understand you don't have to sell your asset so this this thing is Binance provides you with all these um infrastructures to 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 help you make life easy for you okay you see languages you see currencies mm -hmm. over different currencies C languages, so many languages. I can change to any language I want here. Okay. And then uh, you can buy with credit or debit card. You can buy from local vendors by bank transfer. You can buy from third party apps. Okay. So many things. Okay, look at the 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 the, the product exchange academy charity. If I click on this link now, it's open me. This thing. You can go to your browser. You can minimize. If if you minimize your phone now, uh, you can you can still be listening to me. Just that like you be seeing my screen. You can still be listening to me and be seeing all. I'm doing all these things. So you can see these things are attached here. You know, I don't want to log in yet. I'll still log in and you see how the inside is. These are currency pairs, cryptocurrencies on on Binance uh, uh, platform whereby you can. You can you can trade. There are there is liquidity everywhere for you. Made life easy. Okay, best security and performance. You have a 1.4 million transactions per second. You can take up to 1.4 million transactions per second. Tell me how many exchange or how many bank databases can take up to this 1.4 million transactions in a second. And is the number one at volume, the number one to load fast right now. Okay, is liquidity. Liquidity means the availability of 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 your your second party. Like, I want to sell something now, and I I know where I can go and sell it immediately. That's what liquidity means. Yeah, but if I go to sell now and and I can I can people asking me. My problem with Bitcoin now is that if I buy, I don't have to sell it. It's a problem. Who told you that? When there are exchanges lying around with liquid, that instant within five minutes, I've exchanged my BTC. Like I've made my trade, no matter how many millions it is. I understand? If you go to Binance, there are people ready to buy and there are people ready to sell. There are millions and millions of buyers and sellers on this singular exchange that you know. Let me show you something. Let me go to this uh, 
BTC USDT pair. Okay. Okay. Or I think this page can even this page can even um, can even show what I want to explain. Let me just go back. This page can show. So what I want to show you. Okay. Now on this exchange now. If you are looking for who will buy your coin or who will sell coin to you, if you come to this exchange, look at this market cap. This is far as market cap. No, this is uh, yeah, this is the market total market cap of BTC yeah, BTC. Okay. See 149 million is what is being traded on BTC right now. And this 24 hour load volume, this is the amount that has been pumped into this coin within the last 24 hours, 620 million. So you can see that, you can see that there, there, like the, this thing, the, the, there is liquidity, like there is enough money flowing in and out of this thing. So your skinny $50 can go inside there and come out at, 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 at any time, okay? So that I've not been using my mouth, I was using my hand. I thought, <laughs> and I normally, <laughs> I'm used to teaching people one-on-one. -on -one, so I use my hand to point at the screen. So let me use mouse. Your, your, your money can go in here and come out smoothly, <laughs> okay? If you buy, you swallow your work here. This is in the first volume. <laughs> See the money that is moving here. This 620 million is in dollars, not Naira. If you convert it to Naira now, you see billions, okay? So, <laughs> no matter what you want to sell, if you come here, you will sell. You don't want to buy. How many billions you have, you want to buy. If you come here, you will buy. Okay, you get So, no fear. Okay. You see, more than 50% on majority listings. There are... Let me show you something again. There are up to... There are up to 5,000 cryptocurrencies in the world today. And uh, this five, up to 2,000 plus of these coins are listed on Binance. This is coin market cap. This is where uh, it's like a register for all cryptocurrencies. This is where you see, uh, this is my dark mode. I don't know if you are seeing it. Let me just change it to white. Okay. Let me change it to white. Let me slow down. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, these are this is like a register for currency. You see, this coin is the number one, and this is the market gap twenty five volume circulating supply and the rest. Uh, what was it that I wanted to show you? I wanted to show you. Uh -huh. Cryptocurrencies, yeah. 500, 5,402 5, cryptocurrencies, and most of these coins are listed on Binance. So if you want to sell, you can just go there to Binance. You might find your coin there. Okay, just go search the coin there using the search option. You find your coin there, and then, uh, and then, now this coin market, this register. I hope you know that this coin market cap too uh, is owned by Binance now. It has been acquired by Binance. So you see, Binance is a very big company. It's a very big company. Okay. See, approximately of two billion dollars daily trading volume on average. Okay. So there is liquidity. There is money flowing in and out of this exchange. So you you don't don't feel as if if you want to. Buy or sell, you can't buy here. Yeah. Now, uh, global compliance network, a fully compliant operating, four fully compliant operating business across four continents. That is uh, Africa, Asia, America, and Europe, in talks with 14 regions. Uh, uh, quality project selection, less than 3% acceptance rate on project. This means that. Less than, like, if 100 people apply to be listed, 
hundred projects applied to be listed on this exchange, only three, only three, get listed. That's to show you the kind of strict regulation, strict process of listing a coin on Binance. To show you that the only list legitimate and 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 good project. All right. Okay. And then. And then we have a leading customer support, 80% of tickets solved in 24 hours, and then 90% satisfaction rate. Okay. Because 80% uh, that's like, if you submit a, a, a request now, let's say you have problem depositing or any problem, you can just go to their support channels or any of the social media channel, be it Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and send them a message. Within 24 hours, your, your your query is answered, and then you it's solved in a way that you get you get satisfied. Like your problem is solved and solved permanently for you. You understand? I, I once had a problem with a coin which I sent. The coin has memo, and I sent the coin without memo. I I, I just contacted them. In fact, the way they were able to retrieve the coin was very very surprising to me. It was fast and. Yeah, I've helped some 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 guys too here. They can testify to that. It's just they're just too good, yeah. And then it's global. In over 180 countries and region, so many branches. We have the Nigerian here. We also have in Ghana, in America, 180 countries. In fact, there's no need listing there. I'll still show you there on the next slide. And then we have team members from 40 plus countries. And then 15 languages you can convert the site interface to any 15 different languages, Spanish, French, anyone you want from anywhere, 40 plus countries and region. You see, team members of Binance. You know, Binance, this Binance, as big as it is, doesn't have a fiscal office. This is an online company. When you say something is online, this is where the world is going to right now. Even, you know, as this COVID-19 something is, and everybody is indoors, and I didn't mean Binance have a fiscal office. This would greatly affect their business. But this all online, everybody's at home with his system and his phone, and that is your office. You understand? You know, the world is getting online, more and more of online now. So anything you are doing now, and you, you, if you are still finding place to rent an office outside, you are really going backwards. You understand? This is a technological advancement. So everything we do here is current. And then next slide, community comes first. Yeah, we have the users in mind. That is why you are getting this webinar for free. You didn't pay for it. So <laughs> we are we are more focused on 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 satisfying users than actually making money from you. You understand? Know 1.4 million followers on social media, more than 250,000 users on Telegram, more than 30 language groups on Telegram. Okay, these are linked to these various social medias: Steemit, Twitter, Medium, Telegram, LinkedIn, Reddit, Facebook. You can find us any of these social media. Just search for by now. Just be careful of scam. I'll send all these links on group. Okay. This is the Binance ecosystem, okay? This is Binance, you have the Binance Exchange Futures P2P. I have the launch pad. I'll explain these things one by one on subsequent slide. We have the launch pad whereby you, you can launch your project, your token on there. And it will, if Binance users will come and purchase there, and you, you have the chance of getting listed on Binance Exchange if you launch your project on launch pad. And then the charity organization whereby you could donate to charity, you know, you help the poor and the rest for free. Like during this COVID-19 uh, problems, like the advanced donation, I think up to is it one million or five million. I, I really forgot, but the tweet is there. If you go to the Binance Twitter and you see they donated one million to fight COVID-19. And then we have fiat gateways. I have Binance, Uganda, JC, Singapore, Australia, US. Okay, you can buy directly with your normal fiat. You can buy Bitcoin there. Yeah. And then info, this is where you get information on crypto projects. You have the Binance chain and Binance Dex. 
where you get um DEX is where you trade your coins, decentralized exchange, that's the meaning of DEX. And the chain is where you create coins and then trade them on these DEX. Okay? The X for developers. And then labs, whereby you incub we incubate projects here, you know, observe them, sponsor them until they become something relevant and get listed on the exchange. Research is where you 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 find out research on before investing on any particular project or coin if you want to check your this thing, you know, legitimate information. And then Binance Academy where, you know, newbies like me and you can go and learn about Bitcoin, blockchain and the Binance itself. And then Trust Wallet, this is the wallet you use for storing uh, your cryptocurrencies. It's a multi-coin wallet. You can store Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB. BNB. BNB, native token of Binance. BNB means Binance coin. We'll come to that, okay? This is the ecosystem as of 218. Do you know that this Binance just launched 217? That was like three years ago, just three years ago, but they have so many of this uh, ecosystem around it. I'll show you how serious we are with business, okay? At first, it's launched, it started with Spot in 217. 218, we learned the Info Labs, Launchpad, Academy, Charity, Research and then bought Trust Wallet, okay? And then created BNB token. And then regional peer to crypto platforms, Uganda, and so on and so forth. Then 219, 219, we added spot features, lending, margin trading, fiat gateways, to supported countries here. These are uh, Canada, US, Brazil, uh which plug is this we don't know Uganda, spain uh, england uh, uh, turkey and uh, nigeria it should be ukraine or the, i don't know and then so many other countries that's uh, just you can like so and then the we, uh, then we also acquired a uh, trust wallet travel by beat that review jack was the ex indian exchange for indians all owned by Binance. And then you have BNB, the native token of Binance, where you can you can use this Binance token for any of these platforms. It's a utility token for the whole platform. You can need to pay for fees, use it to register on these things and read. BUSD, Binance US dollar, just like USDT Theta. Binance US dollar is pegged to one dollar. And then BGPP, that's Great Britain pounds. It's pegged to Great Britain pounds. And you can use just the same currency. You can exchange it on, on the, on the on the platform. Okay, yeah? and use it to hedge your funds. It is the Binance chain. Explanation of the Binance chain: modern, secure blockchain with instant finality, transaction finality. Binance chain software system developed by Binance and communities. A community-driven project with developer and contributors from all over the world. Binance is the exchange where you can trade tokens created from Binance chain. This is the link, binance.org, all right? Well, it records 1,000 plus transaction per second. And then uh, we have the Binance Labs. Infrastructure to impact fund and initiative launch by Binance to incubate, invest in and empower blockchain cryptocurrency entrepreneurs okay, is to solve the problem that matters the most to ecosystem. You know, there are so many scam projects out there, but Binance will help you spot which ones are scam or not. That is the essence of the Binance lab. And then we have the, the token, the launch pad, where you launch your coin, you know, after passing through the Binance Lab, you launch your token on the on the uh, launch pad. Okay, these links are all on the Binance.com, and then the Binance Info. So this is the project insights. I've already explained this, okay? 
Don't be wasting much time. You can just read through this. Comprehensive and objective information. Where you compile projects, your white paper, industry news, market data, independent ratings, and the rest. It's just like encyclopedia of crypto or dictionary. And then academy, where you learn the learning hoop of, uh, of crypto. Okay. Like what you are doing now is part of the Binance Academy. And then Binance Charity. And uh, Binance Research. You know, professional research, data-driven insight analysis for crypto investors to increase the level of transparency and improve quality of information within the ecosystem. And then for developers, where you to initiate poster innovation on the Binance platform and the general ecosystem. This, this one is to help developer learn how to build on the Binance platform, which include Binance Chain, Binance API, Trust Wallet, SDK, and the charity donation platform. Bring together developers to collaborate and support them through the programs on X and Binance. Okay, these are peer to crypto gateways rather than on Singapore, JC, Uganda, US, and even Nigeria. Trust Wallet, the official wallet for Binance. And then, and then BNB, a native asset on Binance chain. Okay, this BNB is, is a coin for Binance. It's called Binance Coin. Okay, it's a centralized blockchain system. Uh, and the coin has multiple forms of utility and powers the, buy, the whole Binance ecosystem as the underlying gas. You understand? It, it, with with 3.1 billion market cap, BNB is the second largest cryptocurrency and one of the best performing coins of 218 and 219. This is Binance coin here. It's, it's currently down to number nine. You know, at the time of making this uh, a slide, it, it was the number seven. This slide was made in 2019. And so every year we make new slides and make changes. So at the end of this year, you see incident. It, it launched at, I think, $0.1. So this is the current price, $16. This is the, 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 the circulating supply, one one fifty-five. 155 million are going to provide 187 million total supply. Okay. Still volume up to 48 BTC have been traded on this coin in 24 hours. Right. As you can see. Look at, look at the chart here. This was when it was launched July 2017, $0 0.1. Okay. It rose from there, it rose to highest peak of up to forty dollars in forty dollars in uh when was that in 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 July, June two nineteen. Okay, I just fall to sixteen dollar right now. Yeah. It it is a utility token for the banana ecosystem. So if if you if you if you should be having this, if you're using Binance, you should have this coin as part of your portfolio. It has very, very good record. Right? And um now these are use cases of this Binance coin. That's why I tell you it has use case. So if you're holding it, you, you don't you won't lose in the long run. Okay. These are use cases of the Binance coin. You can buy things here. At these shops, ATM, Conflict, Beta, Meta, Payments, Coin, Spend, and rest. And then ETS, Lenaga, Payment. You can pay using BNB on these platforms BPA, CoinGate, Crypto.com, HTC, Payment, 20X, and rest. These are entertainment platforms where you can still use BNB to pay. Okay. And then these are stores, wallets that you can store your BNB. Exodus, Trust Wallet, Koinomi, Atomic Wallet, Engine Wallet, this, you know, so many wallets can store. You can even store it on the Binance Exchange. 
And then these are services that accept BNB as payment. You might use pure VPN, Storm, you know, BitTorrent. You can still use BNB to pay for all these things. And then traveling, like you can even pay for flight on this platform using BNB. As a traveler, travel by beat. You can pay for your flight ticket with BNB here. And exchange, exchange that supports BNB. You can see them here. Uh, so many of them listed here. Uh, the gate.io, Changeli, Bitzai, Bitmoon, ETC. And then the Binance chain. Look at this. These are projects that uses the Binance chain, you know, to create their coin. And, you know, they, they have to use the Binance token to, to, to pay for listing and to, to execute their uh, commands on the Binance chain. So you see all these coins now are on the Binance chain and are listed on Binance Dex. You can trade them. So these are more and more use cases for BNB token. Okay. And then trading volume. Binance rose from number ten, number zero to number one exchange in five months. As on, on the day on the day forty two day after launch in July two seventeen, it was number ten. And after ninety two days went to number five. After three after one fifty six days went to number three. And then day one sixty five went to number one. Today is still the number one exchange, crypto exchange in the world. Ask anywhere, find it anywhere. You hear the same. Okay, these are success stories so far. Development plans uh, started July 2020 when we launched and then launched all these apps. And and these things are these things I have explained before. That's just the day they were launched and the rest are here. Okay. I don't need going through all these things now. You just some of you are already complaining of your data being finished. You had participants that even read this. I'm almost done, all right. And then violence in the news. Okay. You I I'll, I'll get these links and send to all of us. All right. I'll send it in the group. I don't know. Has any has anyone shared the 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 group? to the group link here. Gideon, did you, have you shared the group link? Gideon, are you there? Yes, I've done that. Okay, okay, thanks very much. Um, now, I think we are, we are done, done for today. Let me, we are done for this, all right? Let me, let me attend to your, to your questions. And then, I've answered all the questions. Okay, okay, I've answered. I've answered. Trust wallet. This person is trust wallet. All right. Is trust wallet. So, wow, most of these questions have been answered. Thanks, really appreciate. And then, okay, without missing, without wasting much time. Let me let me go to the let me go to the giveaway part. So you can do your summary now. Yeah? I mean you can crack your brain. So so far, so far. Before we go to that, these are what we have discussed, all right? Is how to have this call today. And uh, okay. Uh, let me let me go to the question part. There are five questions, and this is how it works. I'll type the questions. Understand? I'm not gonna say it out. I'll type it. So keep close up to your chat window. All right. I'll type the questions, and uh, if you get the question right and you are the first person, understand? You must be the first person to get it correctly. 
you, you, you then I will I'll pick you as as the winner for the giveaway. It's just five questions, five people, two thousand naira each. <laughs> Network is slow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Someone said network is slow. <laughs> so I'm going to do it now. It's in the chat question, chat section here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh... Okay, what will be the first question? Um, okay. Let me type in, type in, type in. Uh, that's, that's the first question. That's the first question, as simple as that. You got it right. First person, you know, let me check for first person. First person's name that appeared on my screen. You get the answer. You get the GPO. Okay. Um. Okay, the first person to get the first person to get the question is uh, Michael Michael Naftali. Let me let me write it down. Let me write your name down. Okay, you just have to be fast. All right, there is no cheating here. Each and every one of you are looking at the screen, and you can see whose name appear first. All right, Michael Naftali. Okay. This person that write this question where they take this long, my jam question give us. You are supposed to write the answer there. You went and write one rubbish there. You had even you wrote the answer there, you would have been the winner. <laughs> uh, let's go to the second question. The question, the answer is false. You can't, I don't understand. Uh, why you saying, you can't see Michael here. The first person I've seen is Who? Who? Next. 
legs, legs. Next. Legs touch. That way. Take legs touch. Legs, legs. legs. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, Take it for yeah, Ma Michael, Michael, you sent you sent this message to only panelists and attendants, attendants are not seeing it. You're supposed to send the message to, to, oh God, okay. Yeah, it's true. Have you seen it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the first person is, is Lex. Michael Mike actually forced him, but he sent the message to only me. Only me and Gideon, you understand? To panelists, like to organize that. Instead of sending the message to, uh, he sent it as a private message instead of as a public message. So I don't know. I, I'm going to do it now. So I have to. I have to pick legs. You understand? I, you, uh, you're supposed to. You're supposed to send the message now. You know, this uh, you, we deal with transparency here. Yeah. It's a decentralized world, so I'm supposed to send it to. I'm supposed to say I, I have to, I have to, I have to. Michael, Michael, you are typing C. Michael. I can't screenshot on this PC. I don't know how I'm going to send it to you. You are supposed to send your message to all attendees. Michael, change your this thing to all attendees, so so you can attempt the next question. You understand? Lex Tutti is the first year. I'll, I'm picking Lex. Understand? No, no, no. The setting wasn't default. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can hear can you. you yeah? Can you stop Okay, okay, fine. I've cancelled that question. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I let, let not be one sided, right? Yeah, that's it. Lex, Lex, no vex. If I, if I, if I, if I pick Michael, eh, you'll be angry. And if I leave, if I also pick Lex, Michael will be angry. So I can't satisfy you both. And as I, I can't leave, please want to leave us. So we just have to disband everybody and start afresh, all right? Let me let me send another question. Let me send another question. Hey, uh, give on to your inbox on WhatsApp. Uh, okay. This one is is, is yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, Lex, you did, we make we share on one k now. Lex, you have to you and uh, you and. Uh, you and uh, you and you and uh, Michael should decide that. If if you if you both agree, fine. Or we can just cancel both of you. You know, in fact, it's not even possible, sir. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> okay, you can share it. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, 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 yeah. fine. But Lex, Lex, and 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 Michael for the first question. But please change your settings next time to to uh, all attendees. All right, coming for the for the next question now. All right, let's not wait much time. Um, okay. Let me use caps log so that my message will appear unique. This question now is is very very specific. Okay, so you have to give me the specific answer. Don't just answer randomly because you want to answer first. Specific, you have to give me okay. Let me give you a hint. Yeah. <laughs> Did I give you a hint?
Just a little hint. Okay. The hint is that it's a figure. And you have to give me the right figure. Not just down, down. You have to give me the right figure. I'm still typing the questions in. No. Okay. Obo Obo Charles got it right. All right. Obo Charles. Obo Charles got it right. Obo Charles. The the no. I said figures. This person writing three months and five months. I at least I said figures like the days. Okay. And then uh, this person, smart LP, you you almost you, you didn't put it the way I put it. See, that's why I said it's very specific. You see, the way, how many days did it take for Binance to become? How many days? Not how many moons. The person that put moons there got it wrong. I said how many days? Okay, did it take for Binance to become hash three and hash one exchange in the world by trading volume? All right, it's, 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 it's a very specific question. You have to so I have to tell me, first of all, tell me hash three and then hash one. And in days, days, not months. Okay, next question, next question. I've sent the question. Ikechuku. Ikechuku. Who is wait? Ah, you don't do now. The person don't answer now. I still the type. The first person is Ikechuku or Pongkwa. Sorry, no. The, the answer is false. Okay? The answer is false. And the first person to type false was Kenechuku or Zoilo. Kenetuku, yeah. Kenetuku Ozoilo. Kenetuku Ozoilo. Kenetuku. <laughs> okay, fourth question. Um,
Okay. Sending, sending, and uh, enter. This one now. <laughs> Francis Balogun. Francis Balogun. Last question. Last question. Okay. Hey. I've already picked Francis Balogun. Ah, uh, um, the last question is very, 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 very simple. Very simple, and then. Marvelous, Makule. It's marvelous that got it to see the 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 rest of you is the rest of you are ahead of him. This one said Binance Ciaro. I don't know what Ciaro means. BNB owner. Ah <laughs> Satoshi Nakamoto. Uh, but let's see, you already answered. And 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 you, you don't recognize him as DGL too. The, uh, the founder of Binance. This is what I'll go with. Marvelous, Makule. Sorry. Okay. I'm done with my five questions. And uh, Gideon, Gideon says he has question, uh, he has more five questions to ask. And you give one K to to each to to those five questions. Anyone that got his answer. So I've picked my own five questions. Gideon can now come in now and ask his own five questions briefly so that we can close all right just i think it should be basic and simple questions uh, Gideon, you can come. okay i'm here so i'll be giving one thousand dollars to five people the okay, five people that will answer my question so the number question one is What's the full meaning of CZ? I don't know. You can type the questions, Avi. Yes, Maybe after this one, you just type it. And yeah, no past winners, please. If, if you have one, it's once. Sunde Paul, Morfimula. You guys answered before the question. <laughs> before the question. 
Yeah, yeah. No, I already said it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, that, you already said it, so you can just pick whoever wants to first. <laughs> okay. Tunde Paul, drop your details. No, I'll, 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 just, I'll write down the name. All right. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. We'll do the distribution later in the group. Okay. All right, you can go on with the, the next question. So that we can, I, let's, just, let's be fast so I can run this up. Eh? Okay, I'm typing it. Please, uh, also, any other question that have not been answered here, you can join the group and drop your questions there and inquiries and everything. You know, you know, you must have Binance account for this and that's where your giveaway will be sent to. I'll drop the second question. So, Lex, Boski. Yeah. Note Lex, he answered the second question. Okay. So the third question. You mm, don't check if your if your messages are going to panelists, to attendees and panelists. Yes, All panelists is. and attendees. It is. Okay, so why is everybody saying they don't see questions? Check, before you type your message, check two. You see to all panelists, to all uh, attendees and attendees. Okay. And, and Lex has answered before. You know. Lex Sorry, let's be, let's be, let's be fast, please. Because the, Time is running out. The people are complaining of their data. And then, uh, if you have answered question, you can, you, there's nothing again to do. You can feel free to leave so that. You know, and this this whole this thing is being recorded. So we will share the link to to the recording. Here's the third question. Name one example of mobile wallet. Okay, Charles Obona is here. Charles, I've answered before. Uh, example of mobile wallet. Charles Obona, okay. Same with the other Obona. Charles Obona. Yes. And uh, we have Obo Charles here. I'm seeing Obo Charles. Yeah, yeah. The Obona is different. Uh -huh. So you don't know the difference. Sorry, who answered the second question? Let me check again. Legs, right? Legs. Let's go. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Fourth question, please. Use capital letter when typing your question so, so you can differentiate from others. I don't use the package now. What is fiat? <laughs> okay, okay, Christopher. Sorry. Moski, help me check. All right. Help me All check. Right. There are many answers here. What is fiat? 
normal money, local money, paper money. Uh, local currency. Local currency. Yes. Okay. That should be Christopher Emmanuel. Right? Did you get any word? Christopher Emmanuel. Okay. See, uh, it's not first to it's not first to answer or first to get the correct answer back. <laughs> so that you don't use fastness and type rubbish. <laughs> Look at currency. Uh, Christopher Emmanuel. Christopher Emmanuel. Okay, last question. Last question. So I will, let's run this up. I'm already tired. Okay. What is the full meaning of SMR? Uh, wow, Matthew. Uh, Matthew Solomon. Matthew, okay. Monero. Yeah. Matthew Next. Solomon, right? Is repo. SMR is Monero. Yeah, Matthew Solomon got it first. Yeah, we have less answers here. Okay, so so that's all right. Yeah, no, I'm done. Okay. I'm done. Um, I don't know. I, I I want to really thank you. I appreciate every one of you for attending this this uh, webinar. In fact, the the number of participants, like it was wow, it was baffling me. I never expected expected much participant like that. Really appreciate. All right. Please, if you, if you want to do your own giveaway, we'll do it in the group, I beg. All right, let's, let's close this. Uh, let's close Stand this up. session. Okay? We'll continue in the group. See you guys in the group. See you guys.